And we're live here at Southern Baptist Educational Center in South Haven, Mississippi for a uh, game between the Lady Eagles of Ezel Harding and the Lady Trojans of Southern, er, of Southern Baptist uh, Educational Center. Uh, we are going to listen in in just a moment to the PA announcer as he walks us through the uh, starting lineups for both. Uh, this is Robert Lindsay coming live to you with uh, Matthew Williams beside me. Right now we're going to listen in to the uh, national anthem. Again, we're going to listen in for the uh, lineups.
All right, as we begin in, in the first uh, eight minutes of the first quarter, the SBEC pep band decides to launch into yeah, I a... Uh, I can't hear myself think. You can't hear yourself think? That's, uh, that's okay. Don't worry about it. Um, in this job, you don't necessarily have to think, uh, which is exciting. Uh, we have some comical uh, SBEC... Uh, people coming over to the Isa Harding side of the floor, which is always exciting. Yeah, it's always exciting when uh, the instigating begins early. That's exactly right. It'll be all right, though. This is, uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, Matthew and I are both at Isa Harding. Uh, I am a teacher at Isa Harding. Matthew is a student at Isa Harding. So we will uh, attempt with all that is inside of ourselves to be unbiased. Um, it's going to happen every now and then. That's exactly right. I mean, uh, obviously, um, the portal, Tanjanique launches up a three, misses. Kiana goes in. Haley Johnson misses. Rebound. Tanjanique goes up. Tanjanique goes up. Uh, misses the lay-in. Good rebound. That's exactly right. Three rebounds in a row by uh, Ezo Harding. Offensive rebounds. That's exactly what we want. Tanjanique's going to go to the line. Uh, Tangenique makes the first. So first points of the game on the board. Tangenique Nolan, our senior from uh, Ezel Harding. Uh, the Lady Trojans of SBEC have uh, two back as uh, Tangenique makes the second, uh, meaning that they're going to attempt to try to break Ezel Harding's trap. Ezel Harding is, is kind of known for their trap defense. Uh, so we've got a... Uh, oh, almost a turnover. Almost a turnover. Ooh. Yeah, that's right. Anisha Harmon is going to get called for an over the back and a uh, slap foul. That's the thing with her the past few games. She's been getting into foul trouble, and Ezo right. really doesn't need it. I've been told that apparently I'm uh, super loud, which is exciting. We have no idea who is telling us that. That's perfectly fine with us. As, uh, thank you guys for sending in your uh, suggestions that I am that loud. At least it means they're watching. That's exactly right. So uh, after the first shot for the free throw, uh, SBEC misses the first chance to make points and misses the second. Haley Johnson with the rebound. Marcy's going to try to move the ball up forward. Uh, the question is going to be what kind of offense is Isa oh. Harding going to run? Uh, Kiana mi mishandles the ball. Going to be Isa Harding's ball on a turnover. And an early substitution, Mary Catherine Willoughby, a uh, freshman, is going to come in to sub in for Anisha Harmon, who got a uh, foul within the first 30 seconds of the game. Kiana Freud moving it around. Wide open in the corner. She's going to bust that three. Misses. She also follows a rebound, though. Jump ball called. That's going to go to SBEC. I feel like from now on, instead of calling them SBEC, we should probably call them the Lady Trojans because like, it actually is easier. So the Lady Trojans move the ball forward. And a shout-out to Garrett Ridley, who is watching. That is who told us our mics were too loud. Uh, um, excellent. Wait, both of our mics or uh, just I think it was mic? just yours. Yeah, I know. I, I have a loud voice. And... Uh, he said go wild, in which I say go Preds. And now wow. back to the game. For those of you who don't know, that was a uh, hockey reference of which Matthew Williams knows very well. Tangenique has the three, but decides to pull it down. Haley Johnson. Oh, call going to be called on uh, Haley Johnson, who, although she had the position, uh, gets called for the foul. Kiana with a quick steal. Kiana gets the ball, moves it around. Marcy Sneed, the freshman point guard, is uh, trying to swing it around here. Uh, 
Uh, refs seem to be letting uh, quite a little bit go, which is perfectly fine. I mean, you, that's what you want for the refs, especially at the very beginning. Well, good call. Good call on, uh, on traveling there. You know, one of the things about uh, when you play a press defense is then on a press defense, uh, the refs the refs have to call traveling uh, for your press defense to work well. Haley Johnson in the corner, pass it back out to Tanjanique, who swings it over to Marcy. Tanjanique has a chance, but uh, decides to pull it down. Marcy swings it over. Every time Tanjanique gets the ball, their student section does yell at him. That's right. And... Kiana with the foul. With the, uh, with the foul, that's going to cause a turnover. Three fouls early. Now, uh, this is part of having home field advantage. You know, when, you, uh, when you're in your court, you know that you can yell as loud as you possibly can. Refs aren't going to call anything, which is wise. So uh, the Lady Trojans uh, fans decide to use their advantage uh, to their advantage. Lady Trojans moving it around, trying to find position on the inside. Ball to number 24. Ooh, nice. Tanjanique yep. gets the ball, strips away. Marcy drives, puts the ball in, and lays in for the layup. So with five minutes and 23 seconds left, we've got uh, Ezel Harding four. All right, the Lady Trojans trying to inbound the ball. Foul going to be called on the... Come on, ref! Are you kidding me? Um, foul gets called on uh, Tanjanique Nolan. Shot by number five, misses. Marcy Sneed gets the ball, tries to push forward. Tanjanique gets the ball with a chorus of yells as soon as she touches it. Yep. Again, brilliant. I mean, uh, Ezo Harding student section has done the same thing. Number three travels in. Off Throws the it. bottom of the backboard, and I... Not going to commentate, yeah, or uh, make a comment on some of the stuff that's been going Kiana on. Yeah, for three misses, follows a rebound, gets it. Let's just say there's a lot of stuff that is not being. Yeah, called. there's a lot of stuff not being called right now, which is uh, which is normal. It's as long fine. as it goes both ways. That's right. You gotta you gotta play within the you gotta play within the refs. Mary Catherine Willoughby gets the ball. Oh, nice passes pass. Passes off. Passes off to Haley Johnson, who goes in and gets fouled for an and-one opportunity. Ezel Harding going to be up 6-2 to two with 4 minutes and uh, 19 seconds left. And uh, for Kiana Froden, uh, Emily Feenstra is going to come in. Emily Feenstra, for those of you who don't know, is kind of a uh, three-point specialist, specialist for uh, Ezel Harding. So she's going to be looked at to make some big shots. As of right now, we've got about three on the floor who can uh, shoot threes pretty accurately. <laughs> Haley Johnson with the rebound. Quickly moves it over to Marcy Sneed, who's trying to look to set up the quick, fast brace offense. Tanjanique gets the ball. Marcy for three. She misses. However, Emily Feenstra. Emily Feenstra tips the ball out. Good fight, though. That's right. I mean, it's, it's a great game right now. Every Both teams are, uh, are giving it pretty much all they've got right now. This is going to be an interesting third and fourth quarter, especially yep. if we keep up with this energy. Haley Johnson trying to press defense, swinging around to number three. Tanjanique's going to get called. They called her on the floor. On the floor, foul called on is Tanjanique. That? that should be her second. 
They, I think they need to take her out of the game. Uh, Nisha losing. Harmon going to come back in for You were losing a lot. Haley but, uh, Johnson. No. No, it is 6-2. Um, our... For those of you who don't know what that random comment was, uh, our tech guy asked whether or not they got the points on the floor, and they did not. However, they do get it on the inbound play. So it is seven to four. Ezo Harding right now. S uh, SBEC is playing a, uh, a modified press here. So Marcy Sneed uh, passes just over Emily Feenstra's head, and He's that's going to be a turnover. Ezo coach is trying to calm him down. That's right. You don't necessarily need this fast of a pace this early unless that is what you're planning on, and I that's don't right. think that's what they wanted. That's right. I mean, uh, it's, a, it's a tricky thing to figure out what you want to do uh, on the floor, whether or not you want to do fast break offense, whether or not you want to set up your offense. It's looking like uh, Ezel Harding's playing a little bit of a zone. They're trying to feed it to number three every time. I that's think exactly every right. offensive possession, she's had a touch. Uh, that's right. I mean... Uh, K, I believe is her name, is going to be her big thing. Uh, Tanjanique with the shot, misses. Tanjanique's got to be careful on uh, fouling. Number three pushes the ball forward. Oh, Swings up to number 20, or 14. He's going to make a three. That's going to tie the game up at seven. If I was uh, Coach Charlton, I'd be thinking about a timeout pretty quickly. Keanu Froden going to come back in for uh, Tanjanique, who has two fouls. That is the turnovers that you cannot have. That's exactly right. That was the uh, – that's right. That's the that's the fouls that you can't do. The official checking with the scores table. They do call timeout. I believe that's why he went over there. I believe. I'm not sure. And the uh, pep band here at uh, SBEC is going to load us up with some uh, music right next to us in the student section over here. Inbound pass number 14. We're still uh, traveling. Going to be called a number 14. Uh, for those of you who have not, uh, who are just now turning in, you've got to realize that uh, Ezo Harding on inbound plays are getting uh, double screened um, up at the top of the key. Uh, number 14 gets called for a foul here for a block. Going to be Ezel Harding's ball to inbound. Ezel Harding has uh, five fouls right now. Uh, the Lady Trojans have three. Emily Feenster trying to push the ball around. Ball to Feenstra, who swings over to Froden. Froden gives it to Anisha. Anisha swings to Marcy. Marcy passes over to Feenstra for three, and it's good. 10 to 7. That is what they have not been able to do is set her up for the plan three. And Anisha almost with the save. Anisha almost saves the ball. They're going to say that she was out. Number three with a uh, good juke on Froden to try to get her off. Again, it's looking like uh, the Lady Trojans are trying to do high screens. Uh, that's going to be out on uh, Willoughby. Going to watch the, for the uh, double screen up here at the top because that's what they've done both times so far. Number 10 for the uh, lay-in. That's going to be 10 to 9. 
Anisha Harmon going to travel with the ball. Anisha, by the way, uh, left-handed player, uh, which always throws defenses off. Marcy trying to swing the ball around. Gets the ball to Feenstra for three. Just off. Push going to be called on Anisha Harmon. There's about 53 se or 58 seconds left in the first quarter. Uh, Ezo Harding uh, playing hard uh, with a one-point victory right now. So are the Lady Trojans of SBEC. Ball passed out to number five. He's going to swing it over to number 10. They look inside to number three, who tries to travel around to number 14 on the she outside. She hit it last time. She hit it last time, misses it there. 42 seconds left. Kiana Foden trying to move the ball forward. Feenstra gets the ball in the corner. She's gonna swing it around, bounce pass. Um, yeah. Uh, refs are calling some of the travels, but not all of them. There's a lot of stuff being called. Yeah, a lot of stuff is being called, and then some of it, uh, not at all. Mm -hmm. Twenty-five seconds left. Pass inside to number three. Who's going to swing it out to number four? Uh, I don't know if you guys have figured out kind of what SBEC is trying to do here, but it's pretty obvious. Marcy's got about six seconds to get the ball up the court. She does. Swings over to Feenstra. Jukes in. Ezo Harding fans up in arms. Uh, ref is staring right at. We have a ref is staring right at the man. Good old fashioned Western showdown. Western showdown. I hope you guys actually saw that. And our athletic director is uh, getting a crack, cracking up. Uh, that will be Don Frudenthal. I uh, I really hope that the camera got that. That was the funniest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Literally, the ref. Stared down one of our uh, parents up in the stands. Uh, we have this. This will be on replay for for years if we can get this. This is the funniest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Ref stares down and gives a smirk uh, after a foul that was obviously not called on Kiana Foden at the very end. That might come into play later. Well, let me put it this way. I mean, like you know for a fact that uh, that the refs have pretty much been they've been calling it tight, but uh, the the fouls so far are yep. six fouls on Ezel Harding to three uh, on SBEC. And I'm not saying that that's been the, the game. I'm just telling you, like, uh, they've been calling it really tight on Ezel Harding. And if, um, yeah, that's really the only reason SBC, well, I think I just butchered that, but too many letters, but um, <laughs> that's really the only reason they're in the game so far. That's, yeah, I mean, Ezel just knows that they have to play it almost perfectly because they're uh, not getting any calls right now. That's true. Uh, Mary Catherine Willoughby's got to watch that three seconds on the inside. Tanjanique gets the ball with a chorus of cheers or jeers. Keanu Froden goes up, doesn't get the call, uh, even though her hand gets hit. But uh, it's looking like when Kiana goes in, she's not going to get the call. And push going to be called on uh, number 24, I believe, of uh, SBC. And uh, they're going to back off from press coverage. So after uh, eight straight minutes of press coverage by the Lady Trogadins, they've decided to back off. And the student center of uh, the Lady Trojans have decided to get loud again. It's always exciting, always exciting when the student sections get involved. 
Uh, Mary Catherine Willoughby getting bodied up uh, down low. Marcy Sneed backs off and uh, decides to set up the offense again. Ball stolen. And uh, laid in, so Isa Harding down by three. Again, the Lady Trojans. Timeout. By uh, timeout will be called by Ch Coach Charlton. That's a wise timeout. Girls are only down by three. They've yep. got to settle down. About six minutes and 19 seconds left in the second period. you got to settle your girls down. Got to make sure that they're playing their offense and obviously getting into their defense. The calls aren't necessarily going your way, uh, so the refs aren't necessarily helping you out. Definitely helping the other team out. A little bit of a home field advantage. And as, as we come in after this timeout, it's looking like uh, the Lady Trojans are going to play a little bit of press defense here. Kiana with the shot, misses. Number 10 lays it in. So far, uh, the Lady Eagles, almost every single pass has been going to fingertips. Uh, another no call, but way to fight for the rebound. That's right. Uh, number 23 lines up for an, e for an easy two. Still five point difference. Tangini gets the ball. Passes into Mary Catherine Willoughby, who gets slapped and is going to get called for a three second violation. Um, at this point, if you're Ezo Harding, you gotta you got to play hard. you got to play through the fact that the refs are a little bit against you right now. I was telling you early, Mary Catherine did have to watch out for that three uh, second violation. Ball swung over to the corner to number 14. He's going to swing it all the way back out to number five, who lines up for three and misses. Haley Johnson gets the ball. <laughs> Haley Johnson going to get called for the travel. Ball comes in right at the five second mark. Yep. Emily Feenstra sells the charge and uh, gets a charge called on her. Sorry about that technical difficulties, but the stream has not been stopped. And uh, it's looking like Haley Johnson going to get called for a foul here. Uh, Nisha Harmon going to come in for Kiana Froden. Um, that means that Ezo Harding has basically put in their big lineup, so they're trying to get size in the middle, uh, trying to get fouls drawn. Uh, three, he's all Harding Lady Eagles and a little bit of foul trouble here. First free throw is made of the one and one that the Lady Trojans now have the ability 
for the remainder of the four minutes, 24 seconds to have. This is the second, so rebound by Emily Feenstra keeps the game at six points. Marcy Sneed drives in and foul going to be called on number 14 for the Lady Trojans. Anisha Harmon gets the ball inbounds to Haley Johnson. Oh, they're going to call traveling. So at this point, uh, Isla Harding down by six points with about four minutes left in the second quarter. Uh, <coughs> Call's obviously not going Isla Harding's way, but uh, that's how some games go. Ball inbounded to number three, who puts the ball in. I'm surprised they didn't get a foul there. I'm surprised that isn't a foul. Anisha Harmon drives in. Going to get called for that one. Uh, number 24, no, 23 on the Lady Trojans. Yeah. The coach of the Lady Trojans looks at her, uh, at his at his girl on the inside and basically says, why in the world did you do that one? There was no reason to do that. Anisha Harmon drains the first, cutting the lead to five for the Lady Trojans. And and she makes the second. So with three minutes and 30 seconds left, it's 18-14. Uh, Isla Harding's down by four points. The Lady Eagles uh, are going to have to fight back through multiple things. Yeah, that's going to be a travel call on number five. Mr. Uh, business in the front, party in the back. Ref decides to uh, call that one. Uh, That's the nice way of saying he has a mullet, my friends. Tanjanique gets the ball. Inbounds to Anisha Harmon, who puts the ball up. Uh, doesn't get the benefit of a call, which uh, we There's, pretty much We have not got a call all night. There's a two. Traveling hey. by number 14. So uh, two traveling calls in a row and a no call over there on Anisha Harmon. That's okay. Uh, we'll take the benefit of the doubt there. Yep. And uh, the Lady Trojans are going to sub in. And it's looking like they're going to decide to play um, a true press defense. So trying to get Haley Johnson in the corner. Doesn't get her. Wolf. So those of you who don't know what was just said, Wolf is, uh, is what you say when somebody's on and you don't necessarily, no, don't necessarily know that you're on. Uh, Tanjanique has three on at the same time. Emily Feenstra gets the ball in the corner, going to try to swing it over to Marcy Sneed, who sees Haley Johnson. Pass over to wide open Anisha Harmon, who puts the ball in to cut the lead to two. 18 to 16, he's holding down by two points with uh, two minutes and about 40 seconds left in the second quarter. Ball being swung around by uh, the Lady Trojans, trying to find their way inside. Uh, number three passes it out, trying to get somebody wide on the side. They've basically had a couple three opportunities at this point. Bounce pass over, going to find number three in the middle. That was incredible balance yep. by number three. Let's, let's go ahead and be honest. That was incredible balance by number three. Ball gets chucked at Anisha Harmon's foot. She's going to get called for a kicking foul. Now, the Lady Trojans have been pushing the five-second clock every single time because Ezel yep. Harding's girls have been playing great defense. We'll see what happens here. It is not this time. Ezel decides to set up their uh, their defense. One of the things that you will see here uh, is that Ezel Harding is getting double-picked up at the very top of the key on some of their inbound plays. That's going to be out on uh, the Lady Trojans, and that's going to be Ezel Harding's ball. Again, Ezel Harding is getting double-picked at the top of the key, which means that they're pretty much lofting it over the top. 
which is fine. I mean, it's it's normal. It's legal. Uh, one of the things that you should know is that uh, Tanjanique got called for a foul early in the game, uh, trying to get through she those double two? picks. Or does she just have one? She has two right now. We have uh, multiple girls with two fouls. Uh, block called uh, on number. Did he say twenty? No way. Fourteen. I was about to say there's no way. There's no twenty-four out there. Uh, call on number 14. That is going to be her second. Uh, uh, Tanjanique misses the first one. Four. Scoreboard's helping us out tremendously. Ah, uh, yes. I was looking at the scoreboard that did not have all of the fouls. Uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, SBEC uh, got a brand new gymnasium uh, this year. So this is a $2 million facility that they got through uh, various corporate sponsors. So with a minute and uh, 30 seconds in here, uh, we have the benefit of knowing exactly how many fouls everybody has. Also exactly how many points everybody has if they kept up with it. Kiana Foden for three. She misses. She's a little bit off today. Last week she was on, though. That's right. Good I, no call if there. that was not embellishment, I don't know what what would be. Good no call there. Marcy probably fouled, didn't get called. So uh, number the number at this point right now with a minute left is uh, 22 to 16. Isa Harding down by six. Um, the Lady Chosens have been flirting with a six-point lead. Tanjanique for three. Threes are not falling today for Isa Harding. Good move by number three. That's going to be out on uh, Haley Johnson. Ball's going to go to the Lady Trojans. It's looking like the Lady Trojans are going to try to uh, play for the last shot with 40 seconds left in the second quarter. Trying to go into halftime with a little bit more than a six-point uh, six lead. These are hard and content to step back in their zone and play defense. Kiana Foden comes up to try to start the uh, five-second clock on him. Again, nine seconds, eight seconds left. Number 10 gets the oh, ball, launches over to number 14, nope. who's open. Passes in, ball that bounces was, around. That is going to be uh, off on Ezo Harding, so that's going to go to... That was to, probably a lucky call there because it looked right. like it could have been a kickball call. That's exactly right. Uh, the Lady Trojans are going to try to get the right person to inbound the ball. They're going to look for a uh, three with one second. And the last second shot is uh, is off. So at the end or the beginning of halftime, our score here is 22 to 16. Ezo Harding down by six points. The Lady Trojans of Southern Baptist Educational Center are on top, 22 to 16. We're going to go to a commercial. Uh, we'll be back in just a couple of minutes.
And we're back here at South Haven, Mississippi uh, for the Tennessee the Regional the Championships. Tennessee? Uh, yeah, I realize the fact that they're actually in our, uh, they're in our they're in our group, so we have to play them even though we're playing them in Mississippi. So I assume these are TSSAA officiating crew. Uh, I'm not sure what kind of uh, acronym we want to have for our officiating crew right now. Besides uh, business in the front and party in the back. Uh, right. Um, I was going to say uh, Grandpa and his middle school, uh, his middle school grandkids. But uh, instead of that, uh, I'm not. We're, uh, we're definitely not getting any volume right now, largely because uh, SBEC has decided to crank up the jam, pump it up, and a few other things like that. Uh, number 10 loses her dribble. Uh, launches the ball, and uh, it's going to be a turnover. That's going to be Ezel Harding's ball. So, quick turnover for Ezel Harding. Ezel Laura needs to start making some shots. They need That's to exactly right. not throw up the fast three. They need to let it play into the offensive possession. That's right. Marcy Sneed pushes the ball on the corner. She's going to drive baseline. You're going to get the ball knocked out from her hand. And oh, it gonna... was knocked out of her hand and still out on Ezel. Yeah, didn't really see that corner, but uh, we know who's over there, so uh, we're pretty sure it's going to go to the Lady Trojans this time. Uh, number three drives in, passes out to number five, who's going to launch up a three and make it. Haley Johnson calmly picks up the ball. Ball passed in to Anisha Harmon, who's going to drive. She goes in, gets her own rebound. Gets another rebound, and the, the uh, shot does not fall. But she's going to go to the line for two. It's going to be number 23 is going to get that foul. So uh, early, early in the third quarter. Early in, here come the... Number uh, 23 and number 24 are in foul trouble. They have three fouls each. Oh, man. Nothing those, falling. Yeah, nothing falling right now for Ezo Harding. Anisha has a chance to kind of turn this around. Number 30 uh, at the line. Number 30 at the line. And Anisha Harden, Harding, or Anisha Harmon for the shot. She makes the second. Everyone struggling with name pronunciation tonight, I know, including Mr. Robert Lindsay. Some days, some days it's tough. Some days it's not. Pass oh, PA yeah. announcers really struggling. Yeah, I mean, I understand that. Kiana Foden with the uh, great steal. She's going to drive all the way, pull up, shot off. Ball going to be tipped by uh, Kiana out. It's going to be the Lady Trojans ball. Number 10 gets subbed out for number 4 uh, for the Lady Trojans, and uh, she's going to be the ball handler now. So number 24 in foul trouble is uh, really the only one in foul trouble on the floor right now. Number 24 goes up. It's going to be a push foul on number 30. So she comes in and gets a quick foul. Uh, it apparently takes three full steps uh, for the refs to call traveling. Uh, they apparently also have to hear them. So Tanjanique gets the ball, drives in. She's going to get fouled from behind by number three. That's going to be her first foul. I think they need to go low to Anisha. She seems like the most aggressive scorer Ezel has. That's right. And the thing is, even though the calls are not going your way, you cannot pull away from your game just because the officials are not on your side at the moment. Ball dribbles around. Passed in to Kiana. Kiana passes out to Marcy. Marcy mishandles the ball. Gets stuffed on a pass. Ball to number three. Marcy steals the ball back. She needs she to take it all the way. She needs to. That's a great job. Look. Yep. That is a great job. Marcy Sneed had a little bit of trouble uh, earlier in the tournament. Uh, she would go in for those. She wouldn't follow through. She would stop. 
Uh, the ball will get stolen on that one. She just follows through. Yep. She's going to get a free throw. Most of the time, if you drive, there's going to be contact. And when there's contact, you normally go to the foul line, and that's where Isa Harding has struggled the past several games, including last weekend it's a true statement. in the region tournament. It's a true statement. So Marcy goes for oh, the second. Man. This is the second. So ball in to number four. Number four is going to swing it around to number three. Who's going to spot up for three and miss? That's a key point. Ezel needs free throw line because when you're not getting the calls, when they cannot call a foul on a free throw. True. Now, yep. Haley Johnson with a great put in. 25 to 19. Now, yep. on the plus side, on the plus side, here's the deal. Um, here in the second second half mm -hmm. at the very beginning of the third quarter uh, the foul differential right now is four to zero uh, that is Lady Trojans for Ezel Harding zero which is direct opposite of yeah. basically what happened there so obviously you know what the halftime speech was from coach Charlton it's pretty much do not foul watch yourself these guys aren't calling anything for you so you got to watch yourself yep as uh Gangnam Style rips up, and then the pet band here at the home of the Trojans. Uh, so, therefore, everyone's confused by exactly who's going to be in charge. They have uh, no it's going to be Trojans ball. Isa Harding down by six with five minutes and 30 seconds left in the third quarter. And then our cheerleaders try to fit in a cheer whenever they allow them to, which has not been very many times tonight. Right. Uh, this has pretty much been the, de the definition of a uh, hostile environment. Um, I mean, I'm not talking like Duke, North Carolina hostile environment, but at the same time, like, it is hostile. Okay. Oh. Number 30 swats the ball. Feenstra moves the ball around. Marcy gets fouled, but uh, nothing's called. Traveling called on number four. Ball passed into Feenstra from a half. Oh, oh my gosh. Yeah, it happens. It's the costly turnovers. Kiana comes back to try to put on defense. And number three wide open in the corner after some miscommunication, but she misses. Anisha gets the ball, passes up to Marcy, who's going to... Thought she saw Kiana, didn't decide to pass it. Oh, nice move. Go in. Yes. Coach Shelton wisely decides to call a timeout here as we uh, start to get a little bit of momentum here. Uh, Ezo Harding comes back uh, to settle some of the scores here. So it's 25 to 21. Ezo Harding only down by four. It's looking a little bit shocking because apparently the pet band is allowing Ezo Harding's girls nope, to cheer. Nope. Nope. Wait, wait for, for it. it. And the pet band has decided to get louder than of course they, Harding they, That's That's going to really frustrate. Now you can barely hear Ezel Harding. That was totally intentional. I mean, of course it was. I mean, obviously it's your home court. You've obviously set up your pet band right next to uh, right next to the cheerleaders for a reason, um, as opposed to on your side. Oh, somebody's buzzing stuff. Uh, guy in the middle. They're just, in charge of they're the just story. testing all the buttons. Yeah, you know, I mean, make sure they work. Sometimes you just got to make sure that the uh, the buzzer works. Lady Trojans trying to move the ball around, trying to get somebody open. Uh, number three gets the ball, swings it over to number five. Ball dropped into number 24. Um, the, crowd, uh, the crowd yelling for a walk. Uh, called against number 23 that was not called. Anisha Harmon gets the ball. Marcy Sneed swings over. Foul going to be called at number 10, I believe.
That's going to be her first foul. So every single person on the court pretty much right now, except for uh, Marcy <coughs> and um, Emily Feenstra have fouls called on her, but uh, we still can't convert at the free throw line. And Marcy makes it. So after uh, six free throws, we finally make one. Uh, difference in the game, by yep. the way, is uh, five points. So there would be the five missed free throws. That's right. Tends to happen. <clears throat> yeah. When it rains, it pours. Number three, uh, number 23 sets a uh, hard screen on Kiana Foyden. Uh, Haley Johnson gets the ball, moves it quickly forward to Anisha. That's what Ezel needs to do, drive to the basket when they get back with possibly an advantage or even when it's two on two, so to say. They need to take it to the basket, try to get to the line, and you hope the free throw shooting comes around. That's exactly right. You're hoping that everything gets turned around. Yep. I mean, and it can. Ezel Harding has the ability to get it turned around. Anisha Harmon for the first, and she makes it. So 27-23, Ezel Harding down by four. Anisha has a chance to make it a one possession game here. For those of you who missed it, uh, Kiana got subbed out for Tanjanique. <laughs> Anisha makes both of her free throws. Game is a uh, three point game at this point. Marcy playing high screen defense here. Ball gets passed into number 24, and Anisha's going to get called. On a foul. Traveling ref. Read the rule book, you moron. Number 24 with the uh, craziest free throw shot I've ever seen. Makes it. Emily Feenstra gets the ball around, swings it. Marcy Sneed, it, Marcy Sneed passes over to Emily. Emily gives it to Tanjanique, who goes in. Haley Johnson puts it up, but uh, can't go. Number three gets the ball, swings it over to number five. Number five swings to number ten, who passes it in. Lady Trojans trying to get their uh, offense set up. Uh, they're ahead by six points at this point. With uh, two minutes and 15 seconds left. Ball getting swung inside. Number 23 puts it up, lays it in. The problem is the fact that Ezo Harding is playing, trying to play uh, Basically, like, doubling up on everybody. Yeah, I think they need to go to man. Yeah. That would eliminate the... Emily Fiends just spots up for three and makes it. I think man would help eliminate the wide open players because when you play zone, sometimes you get drawn in. And I believe they, they, they have are. switched to man. Traveling. Yep. Achy Breaky Heart decides to call that one. Keanu Froden's going to come in for uh, Anisha. Uh, you just got my achy breaky heart yeah. joke. I got it. Well done. I like it. Well, I like the joke. Maybe not the official at the moment. I hear that. I understand that. So Marcy Snead trying to push the ball up. Oh, finally go, go, finds go, 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 go. room. Pulls up. Ah. Misses. Trojan fans up in arms and... Keanu Foden's going to come back and uh, get a foul called. And uh, the Lady Chargers make the first. Seems like every time Ezel gets to within three to five, yep, something goes the Lady Trojans' way. 
So Lady Trojans have a six point lead and now a seven point lead <clears throat> on that free throw. Marcy Sneed moves the ball Back, forward. Go, 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 go. Ball gets tipped, Ooh. but goes to Kiana Foden, who sees uh, Tanjanique in the middle. And uh, Marcy tries to set it up. Ball gets swung over to Tanjanique. Same team tips it out, and it's going to go to the uh, Lady Trojans. That's not really her shot. With uh, 50 seconds left in the third quarter, uh, he's Harding down by seven, 34 to 27. Block going to be called on number five. Wait. Of course, it's on. T it's it's it, it's going to be on Ezel Harding pretty much every time the whistle's blown, and right. that was a biased comment, and I stick by it. Yeah, that's fine. Um. About thirty seconds left. And the Lady Trojans are going to pretty much try to set up for the last shot here. Uh, Ezel Harding still pressing them, though. Number 24 gets the ball, swings it over to uh, 10. He swings it over to 3. 10 seconds left. Tanjanique swings for the ball, but misses. And of course, the marching band does play right in the middle of our cheer. So just real quickly, I want to zoom in on this uh, pep band director uh, who has decided that every single time that uh, Ezel Harding's cheerleaders get up, uh, they're going to basically get the pep band going. So I just wanted to point that out to you. For those of you out there in cyberspace who are wondering why you can't hear anything or think about anything, uh, it's largely wait, wait, because of that man, that man right there. So uh, there you go. And if you're wondering about a couple other things, it goes back to that man. At least if you're Ezel Harding, you're in single digits. That's right. A couple shots here and there. And defensive stops. Haley Johnson gets the ball inside. There it is. Oh. Haley misses. Puts it back up. Gets two points. Uh, cuts that it is, to five. That's been Ezel's best offense is to pound it down low to either Anisha or Haley. That's exactly right. Ball goes to the Lady Trojans. After good defense by Tanjanique. Ball gets passed out to number 24. He makes a spin move. My uh, colleague. Uh, is calling for a walk. Uh, the bionic leg of uh, number five. Marcy Sneed with the uh, rebound. Kiana Froden cuts in. 
Tanjanit goes up, gets fouled, is going to get two shots. Okay, let's see if Ezel can capitalize two That's free exactly throws right. to cut it to a three-point deficit. Not only tonight do you have to defeat your opponent or play your opponent, you are right. playing the officials. And so, that's yeah. a thing you do not take into account for most right. of the games. Right. And, of course, as soon as our cheerleaders stand up, the band director encourages his band peoples to start playing every single time. And he seems to get an absolute kick out of it. And, ladies and gentlemen, I'm sorry for being biased, but it is really affecting me. No, that's okay. I mean... Let me put it this way. That's uh, that's part of the point. I'm that's why they're doing it. Well, so it's brilliant. Any, frankly, any biased it. comment that comes from me, I apologize. Well, no, no, no. I mean, that's part of the point. Yeah. That's part of the reason why they're doing it. I mean, they know that uh, the point is that you get yeah. people frustrated with things that don't matter so that all of a sudden when you're out there on the floor, you're focused on those yep. things and not on playing the game, which is pretty yeah. brilliant, frankly. I mean, it's a strategy, cheap strategy, but yeah. it is a strategy yes, it is. nonetheless. Tanjanik at the line for two. Tanjanik yes. makes the first. And I, it to I, I, I see where game. you're coming with that comment. You know, you do anything that you can to gain an edge on the opponent right. and their fans right. in any legal way possible. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. And, I mean, that's been in the playbooks yep. for years. Yep. I mean, like, that's, that's why student sections were Definitely. created. You know, that's why pet bands are there. Tanjanique gets the ball on a steal. No turnover. Let's try to get some points. Okay. Tanjanique's got to control the ball. Oh, what a pass. Passes over to Hannon. Hannon. Deflected. Rebound, okay. Ezel uh, can cut the deficit to one. Could cut the deficit to one here. This is this is uh, the closest they've been. They've been at three-point deficit several times during the third period. Now with six minutes and 18 seconds left in the fourth quarter, Ezel Harding down by three. Uh, will be in the bonus yep. for the rest of the of the uh, of the game, and that's key. They've been getting to the line so far. And drawing uh, fouls. by the way, number twenty three has fouled. I didn't even notice. Out. That is correct. This is going to be a this is going to be a blow for the Lady Trojans yep. as they've got to figure out what to do uh, with one of their bigs on the inside on the bench. Definitely okay. Kiana hits the first, cutting it to a possession deficit. Yes. One more. Yep. Kiana makes the second, Beach cutting it to a one-point lead. And as Kiana makes her free throw, she goes to the bench. And Emily Feenstra comes in, the three-point specialist who is also great on defense. Fans are getting to their feet, both in the Trojans and in the uh, Eagles' sides. And a steal by uh, Tanjanique. Tanjanique moves the ball forward. Pauses up. Tanjanique looks for Marcy. Marcy sees it. Feenstra has a chance for three. Decides not to take it. Marcy drives in. Doesn't get a foul called. Doesn't get a foul called. It looks like uh, possibly somebody was standing straight up. I'm not necessarily sure. However, he's a Harding still playing great defense. Uh, the Trojans have a one-point lead still. Haley Johnson gets called for a hole, even though she comes away with the ball. I don't know how you get called for a hole when you come away with the ball. At least if they're going to call a foul, non-shooting. Five seconds called on uh, the Lady Trojans. That's going to be turnabout fair play, and it's going to give call, Ezel maybe. back. Who knows? Uh, well, no, I think Ezel's just playing great defense. They are now. Let's see if we can regain the lead. We have not been able to say that in a very long That's time. That's exactly right. Haley Johnson passes the ball over to Marcy. Marcy's going to try to push up. She finds Tanjanique. Tanjanique sees Marcy. Marcy sees Emily in this corner. Three's going to be long. Reach-in foul going to be called on Feenstra. 
It's going to be an on the floor foul. Feinstra nowhere near foul trouble. And the mullet is giving the, the zebras ask uh, for a little bit of conversation. He gives the hand to Mr. Charlton, says, I do not really want to talk to you at this point in time. Now we will converse. It's uh, probably going to be three seconds going back on the clock. Oh, more than three seconds. Much more than three seconds. 16 it's about 16. Seconds. Apparently math is different here in uh, Mississippi. Still a three-point game. Anisha Harmon gets the ball. Ball passed in to Emily Feenstra. She's going to sing it around to uh, Haley Johnson. Anisha Harmon passes out to Feenstra, swings it around. Ball goes to Tangenique, passes over to Marcy. Marcy trying to find somebody in the inside. Timeout, he's ill. Timeout going to be called by Coach Charlton. They assume they walk would probably Fearing. be called. That's right, that's right. I mean, uh, the way that this game has gone, that was a wise timeout. Four minutes and uh, 40 seconds left in the fourth quarter. It's uh, 36 to 33. Isla Harding down by three points. Uh, no one really in foul trouble from Isla Harding. Uh, however, there's a couple people. One girl is fouled out from the uh, Lady Trojans. Uh, also, a couple girls are in just a little bit of foul trouble as well. For those of you who didn't hear the question of our uh, tech guy, why do they only play music when our girls cheer? Uh, we've obviously been covering yep. that question for the last little while. A little bit of uh, non-gamesmanship, gamesmanship, and just kind of how it goes. Haley Johnson goes back for the deep pass. Marcy Snead gets the ball, tries to move it over. Emily Feenstra gets the ball, tries to look for Haley inside. They're double teaming. They're Anyone double teaming the inside. That's right. She was out of bounds. You are correct. She was out of bounds. Tangenique with the shot. She misses. Haley with the foul, but not called. Haley Johnson up again. Foul, but not called. Jump ball is going to go to Isa Harding. Jump ball is not going to go to Ezel Harding, as would turn out in this game pretty much every break that the Southern Baptist Educational Center could get, they are getting. Like we told you early, uh, with three minutes and 30 seconds left in the fourth quarter, Ezo Harding will be going to the line from here on out. It's a one and one right now, but on the next shot, it's going to be a double bonus. Marcy Sneed at the line. Makes the first. They don't matter how they go in, as yeah. long as they do go in. It does not matter how it goes, as long as that goes. Marcy Sneed still at the line. 
makes the second. It's a three-point game. Yep. Easy will cut it to one several possessions ago. Let's see if they can get a stop, possibly tie it, or cut it back to one. That's probably a good <laughs> no call. Ball going to go to Ezo Harding here on the turnover. 38 to 35, Ezo Harding down by three points as uh, Marcy Snee gets the ball on the inbound pass. Going to pass over to Haley Johnson. Going to loft it up to Marcy. And here we go. They reset their defense. They reset their offense. Tanjanique Nolan. Haley Johnson. Haley Johnson is a champ. She goes in, lays in with about 17 arms on top of her. It's a one-point game. Timeout going to be called by uh, Southern Baptist Educational Center. The Lady Trojans are going to just take a break here. And the band rises again. Ezel Harding has uh, traveled for four hours to get here, and it's uh, if you add up the amount of time that the Southern Baptist Evangelical Christian Lady Trojans have traveled. It could probably be four hours if you really think about it. And now Mr. Band Director is being told something, and now he is having a... I'm not really sure. Someone I would assume that is from SBEC... What would have to be is talking to the band director. We have no idea what about. We would assume it would be about interrupting Ezo Harding's cheers each and every time, but possibly. I mean, who knows? That's the only thing that I could think of. Who knows? And our cheerleader is is thanking the man for talking to the band director, I believe. All right, Ezel Harding's got to play tight defense without any fouls here. They're down by one point. Ball being swung around. Ezel Harding playing uh, man defense. Number 30, Keanu Foden almost gets the steal. Ball gets touched out of bounds by Haley Johnson playing great defense. Two minutes and 20 seconds left in the uh, fourth quarter. Lady Eagles down by one point. Foul going to be called on uh, Kiana Foden. Not shocking. I think that might have actually been a good call because it yeah, looked that like was. her left arm was, she was kind of hugging her. Right, she was. Uh, she hugged her around the back and one of her, her arm uh, swatted her on the front. I'll give the officials that one. That That's was exactly right. a good call. It's also going to put uh, Kiana in uh, foul trouble here. So she's got four fouls, got to go to the bench. Emily Feenster comes on with uh, only one foul. Marcy with uh, no fouls. Everybody else on the floor has three with about two minutes and 18 seconds left. Uh, number three, if she makes this, will make it a three-point game. She does. It's one thing you can say about the Lady Trojans. They have made their free throws. Ball gets swung around by Ezo Harding. I'm feeling a three find. by someone. I think they're trying to find Emily Feenstra open here for three. She is your so said three point specialist. That's exactly right. Haley Johnson. Yeah! Yeah! Haley Johnson gets N1 buckets here. So uh, with Sorry one point. about uh, like screaming in your ear. <laughs> Mr. Matthew Williams got excited. But with this free throw, Ezel could tie the game. Ezel could tie the game for the first time in pretty much uh, three quarters here. Yep. So with a minute and 57 seconds left, Haley Johnson has a chance to uh, tie this up, make it a game. Yes! Money shot by Haley Johnson. 40 to 40, minute and 52 seconds left. Ezo Harding still trying to play tight defense. They're playing zone this time, trying to swing it around. Defense! 
Ball gets swung out to number five, who takes a long three, but misses Haley Johnson with the rebound. She's going to swing it over to Marcy Sneed. Marcy Sneed has a chance here for Ezel Harding to get the first lead since the first half. Marcy Sneed swings over to Kiana. Kiana swings it. Haley Johnson, Kiana for three. Misses. Haley Johnson. What a save. Tanjanique for three. Oh, misses. Good rebound. Anisha gets the ball. Bounces in. Gets the call. Foul call. On number 30. About a minute and six seconds left here. Ezo Harding has the first chance to take the lead. Anisha has two free throws no matter what. This is the first. And uh, the Lady Trojans decide to sub in a couple girls to give them some time. Fresh legs. Anisha misses. Ezel Harding still can play tight defense and bring it back. Now do they play for the last shot? I think you do. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think you got to think that uh, the Lady Trojans are going to play for this last shot. Kiana. It's a dead ball. How, how, do you, how do you not let the sub in? Yeah, the... It's a dead ball. A lot of conversations going on at the uh, at the table. That was an offensive for defensive swap. I wonder if Coach Charlton will use a timeout to get Emily Chancellor into right. the game, and that's, that's exactly wise, what she's going That's a wise choice. Do. Good call. Good call, Matthew. You want to get Emily Feenstra in. She's your three-point yep, girl. Definitely. You know that you can have her on the corner. Sure-handed uh, player. And for the first time in the entire game, when Isla Harding starts a cheer, the band does not respond. Yeah, the man who's about to walk across your screen here uh, in the tie apparently said something to the uh, band director. Very classy move by the classy. man in That's the right. dress That's right. attire. All right, it's going to be Isla Harding's ball with 33 seconds left in the fourth quarter. 40 to 40 game. Emily Feenstra obviously going to come on. And, and they, the Lady Trojans are also going to sub in number four. That's not a, they want her in the game. That's exactly but right. Not Emily Finch, Actually, sorry, they're going to sub they number are 10 for number four. And our officiating crew for the evening is in kind of confusion. Not a surprise. Coach Farmer is uh, screaming. Uh, I don't even know what to tell you. Trying to be nice. I can't right now. Last 10 seconds. Moving screen, doesn't get called. Haley Johnson gets the ball. Chucks it down the court. We're going to overtime.
OT. OT time, we've got four minutes here. We're gonna start with the jump ball. <laughs> we'll see who has the most legs here. <laughs> and the officiating crew trying to line everyone up properly. They seem to have done so. Anisha Harmon gets the tip. Back tap, yep. Everybody in the Ezo Harding stands trying to chill out here. Ezo Harding still has a chance to go up. Emily Feenstra gets the ball, swings it around. Okay. Marcy Sneed gets it. They really want to feed it down low. Yeah, they do. I mean, I would too. Wink. Right to Anisha. Anisha gets the ball. Oh. And uh, gets the foul called on her. All right, three minutes and 20 seconds left in this uh, overtime period. Uh, it's going to look like it's going to be a one and one shot here by uh, number five. Anisha Harmon picks up her fourth foul. Makes the first, so here we go. Uh, one point lead, and uh, apparently the Lady Trojans get jacked up. And number five makes the second. So Ezo Harding has to do something he hasn't done in a little while, uh, score some points here. Tanjanique swings it over to Marcy. Marcy's going to bring it back to Tanjanique. She swings it over to Emily Feenstra. Nope, she, she doesn't, doesn't have set. the set. She uh, doesn't have the set. Marcy gets the ball. Moves it over. Feenstra there. passes in. Come on, Tangenique one time. Tanjanique takes the long shot. Okay, and it looks that like called on three. three. Three's third. That's her third foul. Regardless, that means that she's going to shoot two. Well, they do not have the... For those of you who don't know, you continue your fouls into the overtime period. So with two minutes and 57 seconds left, Haley Johnson misses the first. That's okay. Haley Johnson with the second attempt. Makes the second one. And they do what Kiana sub in. That's right. Kiana's going to come in for uh, Emily Feenstra. She uh, does, however, have four fouls right now. Yep. So he's uh, Harding with uh, two girls on the court right now who have four fouls. Tanjanique with the steal. She's going to get fouled. Goes in to get the lead for Ezo Harding. Two minutes and uh, 25 seconds left. Oh. Number five lines up for three. Nope. Sidewinder. Almost over the back, but either way, he's the ball. If it would have been over the back, they would have shot two. Which That's right. Preferable, but Marcia Sneed brings it up to Tanjanique. Tanjanique's just going to chill with it for just a minute. Man, two points would be really huge here. Two points. Oh, no. Probably should have seen that coming. Yep. In. Yep. All right. So here we go. Ezo Harding's got to play smart here. Ezo Harding's got to play smart. 44 to 43. Ezo Harding. Tanjanique goes in. Gets fouled. Well, that turnover was forced by the shutdown defense inside. They would like to fed it inside which forced the pass back across the court, but still wasn't the right time. Tanjanique for the first, misses. 
free throws killing Ezo Ladies and Harding. gentlemen, uh, if you want to count up the total number of free throws Ezo Harding has missed this time, uh, it would be a dominant win. Yeah, you, would, you probably want to take off your shoes. Yeah, you would. If you walked a foot for every single free throw missed by Ezo Harding, you would have probably travel the exact distance that the Lady Trojans have and not gotten called. It's about equal, yep. I think. All right, so Tanjanique has another chance at the line here with a minute and 39 seconds left. She has a chance to tie it up in this overtime period. We've got about a minute and uh, 40 seconds-ish left. Come on, Tanjanique, one time. One Matthew, time. Matthew Williams pleading with Tanjanique. Unreal. It went in. It, it has to count. It, it counts. It counts. It counts. It counts, I think. One point, Mr. Score. His bad. He didn't mean to buzz it intentionally right in the middle of our free throw. Okay. I'm sure that was not at all intentional. Because you have to intentionally hit the button for the buzzer to go off. It does not have a mind of its own. That's a true statement. And the um, Zebras are in confusion again. Uh, this well, I think we've got a good zoom in of this uh, Zebra huddle. This is not good. really sure what they're uh, trying to discuss here, trying to figure out. I don't know, but it's going been a on. debacle. Coaches, of the coaches come in. The bucket's going to count. It's going to be Lady uh, Trojan's ball. The, this is a debacle of the, I think it's a time discussion. That's the only thing I could think of. Oh, this is just, un I, I, ladies and gentlemen, we hate to criticize officials, but this has been one of the craziest yeah. officiating nights and maybe one of the biggest debacles right. we've seen all season both ways just I'm still I we all still right. have no so idea so it's looking like they they have they're explaining uh, it yeah the ball's going to go to the Trojans it's, okay so it's exactly what we expected minute and 33 seconds left 44 to 44 he's a harding uh is tied up and they're still having a discussion with the buzzer person who he looks very poor confused, guy. or he has no idea what he's doing. Poor guy. As of right now, poor guy. Uh, they changed the time back to a minute and 39 okay, seconds. Okay, that is what I was... That, right, yeah, that's you're what right, I thought. Right. That's the only thing I could have thought, because they counted the points. So. Oh, ball gets passed in. Tanjanique sets up on defense. Ball passed over to number five, who's going to take that three, but misses. Marcy Sneed gets it. He's all hurting with a minute and 30 seconds left. Has a chance to cool this down. Smart passes are musts. Marcy drives in, sees Anisha. Anisha oh, passes it over. Get it? Okay, okay. Swings it over to Marcy. No harm, no foul. Marcy. Foul being called on number 14. Okay, it's going to be on the floor, but he's a holding double bonus. They shoot two. Okay, Mr. Official realizes he put two fingers. Okay. Tanjanique makes the first. Come on, one more. Tanjanique. Really need this with one. With one more to uh, make it a one possession game. Still really need this one. Still not a one game, but it's a two point it's game. That's a whole lot more for. comfortable than one point would be. That's exactly right. Your defense yes. is uh, guard the three. It is in, yes. Timeout going to be called by Jeff. Look. That's a good call. That is a good timeout call by Coach Charlton. Your defense is set. You do not want a foul. That's exactly right. Uh, for those of you who did not hear uh, my main man, uh, Matthew, over here in the break there because uh, 
His mic was off. You want to make your defense get set. Do not foul. Yep. You are not going to want to put Do them in the line. Foul. That's exactly right. It's yeah. at, they are at one and one right now. It doesn't, they have matter. Two it doesn't matter who you foul. Best, worst free throw shooter on their team statistically. It doesn't matter. That's exactly right. Do not foul. On top of the fact that uh, Hazel Harding has five girls out on the floor, two of which would foul out if they foul, and then two of them have three fouls. Because in this case, even Shaq might make one. And or Dwight Howard, because they both cannot hit free throws. Hazel Harding comes out, decides to set up into their uh, into their defense. It's looking like they're going to yeah. play a man defense here. Huge stop here for Ezell Harding. The Keanu one thing you do not do is let them take a wide open three. You contest every basket. That's exactly right. Hands up. Make sure that you have your hands up. It's exhausting. There's 50 seconds left in the game. Kiana goes for the, tries to go for the steal. Doesn't get there. Number three, their ball handle. Oh, Passes no. over to number 24. Number 24 lays it in. 40 seconds left. Ezell Harding still tied with SBEC. The Lady Trojans. I think you try to win it here. Uh, yeah, I think you grind down here. Yep. You got to try to get that clock down as far as you can. Make sure that you have uh, no crazy no crazy passes. Timeout. Timeout. Yeah. That is a smart yeah. call. Because it looked like Ezo was stymied. That, wow. Well done. You're welcome. Well done. And uh, most of the time when things happen like that, you tend to get reckless with the ball, and at this point, you do not want to turn over. I, it might literally give me a heart attack. <laughs> All right, we've got 18 seconds left. Ezel Harding's going to have the ball. They're going to try to set up for the last shot, obviously. If they miss it, it's probably going to yep. go into overtime here. Yep. The biggest thing you want to do is make sure that no matter what, even if you miss a shot, yeah. you do not foul because you put yeah. them on the line. Exactly. If you are SBEC, if you're the Lady Trojans, you don't want to foul either. And you really don't, I don't think they will go for the steal because if you were overly aggressive and you do not get the steal, that could lead to a drive to the basket, which most of the time tonight has resulted in a foul and with these on the double bonus. I don't think they're going to go for the steal. That's okay. Okay, this time all the way in the backcourt when she received the ball. <laughs> For those of you who uh, don't understand what we were just saying, that's a sarcastic uh, good job. Haley Johnson gets pushed. That's going to put her at the line with 6.8 seconds left. If you're a little kid, if you're a little kid and you're out there, Playing. This is the exact thing that you're shooting for. Oh, shocker of all shocks, ladies and gentlemen. That's a foul out. That's a foul out. Well, that tends to happen the longer you play. That's exactly and right. Especially when you go into overtime, you do expect normally most of the time you would see one person foul out. That's because, right. I mean, you're always going to have one person close to the foul limit. And if they're one of your best players when you go into overtime, you kind of have nothing to right. lose. That's right. So you don't really want to put them on the bench. Because if there's regulation, oh, we'll just let them sit for three or four minutes. If we get down a few points, you know, we'll have the next quarter to uh, to make those points back up. So at this point, Ezel Harding with a make free throw would I have just been stunned. It's always fun when you have teachers yep. dancing. Okay, Haley Johnson. Haley Johnson, please do not give me a heart attack. She's got two here, so it's 46-46 with 6.8 seconds left. Haley Johnson going to try to make this a... Uh, Haley misses the first. She has a chance. Again, this is, what, this is what you're shooting for as a little kid. You're at the line. Six seconds left. You're at the free throw. and collected, ladies and gentlemen. And that time the buzzer went off after the free throw. Which is a good Cold one. like the other side of the pillow right there. She just had it going right okay, there. Okay, I am extremely nervous. The blood pressure is way up. Press, All come right. on. So press defense. 
Get back, get back, get back, get back. Oh, Traveling. No. no way. No way. No possible way. Yeah, I went in. Yep. Hey, cut it. 